Greetings, Earthlings. Well, I've said before that uh, the last thing in the world I need is probably another multimeter. So, well, unless it's got at least three and a half digits and Nixie tubes, but uh, that's another matter. Uh, so what's this? Well, it's a multimeter. This is a Keithley 199 uh, and uh, five and a half digit meter. And I got it because the switch here is broken. So you can uh, only use either the front or the back. It has terminals on the front and on the back, you see. Um, rear terminals. Wait. There, rear terminals. Um, it's also got this multiplexer. Uh, so I guess it can uh, like be used to read multiple voltages and then you know you got the IEEE 488 interface so you could use it for logging of uh, multiple uh, multiple values or something. It could be voltages or resistances. Um, but that's not what I got it for. I got it, I don't know why I got it. Like I said, I don't really need it. Um, I've been, of course, using this thing uh, in the videos. And why is that? Because it has nice big display. Um, and decent contrast and stuff. This has a this has a nice large display and it's got an alpha, alpha numeric display. So I'm thinking this might take over for that one in my videos, but we'll see. Um, but the first question, of course, is does it work? And we know it has this one problem. But let's plug it in and see if. Uh, it has other problems as well, <laughs> okay? Um, powering on. Okay, that looks good. So it comes up in DC volt mode, okay. So I've got some DC volts here. This is connected to the uh, Fluke 343A, which is currently set for 2.9 volts. Precisely, exactly. That's pretty good. Try 29. Yeah. Okay, 290. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we don't want to go higher. This uh, 300 volts max on this meter. Uh, so I could hit it with 1,000 volts. But I won't. Oh, the, yeah, the, here's the other thing. It's a 300,000 count. Okay, so if I go to 390, it goes overflow. But if I go 300, okay. Go on to, I think it goes to 303. Yeah. 302, 9. I actually have it set to 8. We'll have to calibrate it. Okay, so. <laughs> 302, 303 is the max. Okay, good. So that's that's kind of cool. Because that's that's better than most. Uh, whoops, I hit it with 390 volts. I hope I didn't hurt it. Okay, uh, so, but this is what I mostly read is uh, DC volts. So it seems to be doing a decent job of that right now. I can go, I can go lower. Wait, I can go lower. This is 0.9. Oh, come on. <laughs> 0 0.9, you know. There, okay. 0 0.91, 0 0.912, there you go, okay. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, 0 0.01, or 10 millivolts, yeah. Like you said, it needs to be calibrated. I can get it, I can get it there by twiddling the lower bits. Uh, but yeah, still, still that's pretty close. 
one one percent on that means that's pretty that's pretty bad actually okay one point one volts yeah 100 millivolts okay one volt yeah okay uh let's check uh ohms now this can do four wire ohm measurement which is quite handy for lower resistances. Okay, that's good. Overflow. Oh, here. Look. 100 ohm resistor. And zero. That's 13.75 ohms. That's that's an omega ohm signal. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, well, there's a problem right there. It's still measuring 227 ohms with nothing connected. Okay. So that's going to need some work. Um, current. Yeah, we can measure. Oh, well, let's measure AC voltage. If I don't know if I've broken the voltage readings here. Let's, let's verify that it still works. Yes, I know. It's Yeah, it's like so low as to be zero. Okay, we're still at one volt. 2.9. Okay. Good, that's still happy. Okay, let us switch to AC volts. I've got the uh, Fluke 5200A powered up here, and it's got uh, 2.9 volts. Uh, go to AC, auto, 2.9, yeah, that's pretty close, 29. 29, there it is, okay. I can't go to 290 because I don't have the amplifier, but I can go down to uh, 290 millivolts. 290 millivolts, okay, that's pretty close. 29 millivolts, yeah, okay, AC volts, working pretty good. Next, uh, DC current. I don't have a way of measuring AC current at the moment. But here's a current source. Okay, so uh, so here's the uh, current source. Now it reads out the uh, current you've set it at. Um, that's using the analog to digital converter built into a PIC microprocessor. It's a, I think it, I think it's a 12-bit analog to digital converter. Um, but still, I wouldn't expect this to be, you know, I'd expect it to be within one percent, but but uh, not really super precise. But you know, it's set to one milliamp. So let's see. Oh, okay. And it's not outputting yet. Uh, amps. Okay. And auto. Okay. It's, it's yeah, microamps. So if I flip it to operate, uh, well, actually, that's pretty close. 1.0031 milliamps. Okay. Yeah, 1.0. You see, I can I can adjust it here. Let's go to uh, let's go to like 10 milliamps on the. There's 10. <laughs> There's 10, okay. I'll take it. Um, probably go to 100. Well, how high does it go? There we go. 102.3. 0.102, .3. 102, 2.8 amps. Yeah, okay. 
Um, that's looking good. Okay. So, like I said, I don't have a way to measure AC current right now. Uh, so, voltage and current are doing okay. We have a problem on the resistance. Uh, measurement for this one. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's measuring the output resistance of the... Uh, no, but it isn't, because it's like, yeah, there's 227 ohms here. If I short those together, yeah, it's close to zero. Uh, but uh, there's some relay or something in there which is switched in that shouldn't be switched in. So... I'll have to I'll have to open it up and look inside and figure out what's going on there. Uh, but I had to open it up anyway to replace this. So I'll, I'll order some parts. Um, the relays, I'm going to order a couple of relays. Although the relays that it uses are no longer available. So I'll have to order something close that can be uh, modified or adapted or bodged in um, if it turns out that it has a bad relay. That's just a guess right now that that's, that that's what the problem is. Okay, here's why I say uh, I think it's a relay or relay related. Um, it does work on the top two scales. This is the 300 mega ohm scale. I have it connected to a 1 mega ohm 0.05% resistor, so it's reading 1 mega ohm. If I go down to the 30 mega ohm scale, it still reads 1 mega ohm. If I go to the 3 mega ohm scale, that's where it starts to mess up. And the difference between this scale, all the lower scales, right, and, um, and those top two is that relay K3 is engaged, um, is not engaged on the top two, but is engaged on the lower ones. So the problem appears to lie somewhere, at, I'd say after K3 in the, in the circuit there. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, what if I say zero there? Okay. Yeah, it needs calibration. Otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Not uh, not too uh, not too shabby.